Hi guys, it's Sarah here from the Gluten Free Blogger. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going through my haul from the Allergy and Free From show in London. finally got to go to the show at London Olympia and it was amazing like there were just so many gluten-free producers and of course all the big brands were there like you know Tesco, Asda, Javella, Genius, all of those but there were also loads of like small producers and those were the ones that I was really excited about so I had to cart quite a lot of stuff through London but I will go through everything I got so this is my haul from the show. Now these are in no particular order, I'm just gonna grab them as I go. So obviously one of the things I was really excited about was Venice Bakery. Um, they do gluten-free, wheat-free, egg-free, nut-free, milk-free, soy-free, corn-free, pizza bases and flatbreads. So they had a deal on at the show and I picked up the flatbread. I also got some small pizza bases and the large ones because these are like such a good size. All other pizza bases are so small and these are huge. So I was really excited to get these and I'm gonna be making a lot of pizza, which will not surprise most people. Another stand I was quite excited to see was Umi. Now these are a new protein noodle. They're actually made from fish, which sounds really weird, but they assured me they don't actually taste like fish. Um, and you can have them hot or cold. They're really low carb. They gave me a pack to try and some chopsticks, which I'm not going to be very good with those. Um, so I'm going to give these a go and I'll let you know what I think. Now one thing you'll find loads of at the show is snack bar. Ooh, snack bar. So obviously I've got loads from Perkia. Perkia bars are amazing. They are some of my favourites. They're so good so I'm really excited to have some of these. I also got some of the new Naked Coco Coconut bars. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Um, which are really nice. So I was glad to get some of those. And then a few I've never heard of before, so I've got this from Good. I'm cool, minty, and good, apparently. So that's like another healthy fruit nut bar. And I also got these from Kate Percy's Go Bite Date and Coconut Energy Balls, which I might actually eat some of in a minute, because they sound quite nice. These would probably go straight into my office drawer and probably won't last very long. And while we're on the subject of sweet things, I picked up some of these superfood truffles from Functional Foods. Now these are really nice. Like they had these truffles and they were beautiful with like flowers and all made with superfoods. I think a really interesting take on superfoods, trying to make them kind of into almost like confectionery, but like upmarket confectionery. And I also got these from Super Treats, which are like a caffeine-free chocolate bar. Um, now they're made with carob and the lady there was so nice. I told her that my boyfriend Steve loves carob and she gave me some extra for him, so thank you very much. Um, I picked these up at the blogger meetup and I'm intrigued to try them, so we'll give those a go today probably as well. Now one brand that did really impress me was Grassroots Bakery. Um, I picked up some of their bread mixes. Their breads were amazing. So these are organic mixes and you literally just add like liquid egg and oil and that's it. So I think even I can make these. Um, they looked really tasty and they just tasted like real bread, like I think, and the lady was lovely explaining that this is because um, they are not made with rice flour so they don't get that sort of like grainy consistency. But I'm really intrigued to try these, I think they're going to be good fun so I will let you know how I got on with them. So we might as well just stick with the bread while we're here now. Um, so Manavida is another company I've never heard of before. Um, I spotted this in the blogger meetup as well, so I got given a packet of bread mix to try. This is actually a focaccia mix. Focaccia? Focaccia? I, I never know how to pronounce it. So this sounds really good, and it looks really easy as well. So you just add garlic, granules, yeast, oil and water to the dry mix, mix it, bake it, eat it. And of course, while we're on the subject of bread, New Bun Bakehouse and Morgan for there. I got given this new Tiger Loaf, which I've tried already, um, and their crumpets, which are really nice. There's some recipes them on my blog which I will link down below. Um, yeah so I was really pleased to see them there, their stand was really busy. Um, I tried to kind of steer away a bit from like the mainstream brands. I obviously have tried most of their products before and I was really there to kind of hunt down some of the smaller brands so I was really excited to get these. Thank you New Van Bakehouse and obviously I love these products but it was kind of the smaller unknown discoveries that I wanted to find so 
yeah, it was kind of like a mix of everything. I don't know if you've heard of Hangry before. Um, they're a really cool like fruit-based snack bar. I actually managed to pick up some of her brand new bars. This one is really good, it's a ginger, but this one, oh my god, it's amazing. It's like a rasp, it's called raspberry run, but it actually tastes like so much of raspberries, it's gorgeous. Um, so thank you so much for giving me these. They are delicious and I can't wait for them to come out in the shop soon. One of my favourite brands that I met this weekend was Angels and Cookies Cookie Day. If you haven't tried this before, it's free from like so many allergens and it's amazing. But God, they're just such lovely people. Like they were so nice and I think they were really shocked at how well their products sold. Like they sold out on like the second day of loads of their stuff and they had to like bake stuff at like two in the morning. Um, but they were so lovely and I was really pleased to see them. I picked up some of the ginger and spice cookie dough which I have used before and again I'll link that down below when me and Steve decorated Christmas biscuits with them which is really good fun but it's so good and to be honest I'm probably just going to eat this out of the tub because it's so good. Another thing I'm really excited to try is this from Green Sisters. So they were a lovely couple of sisters and they are making like Indian based snack foods. So this is a Veggie-licious medium spice samosa which I'm quite intrigued to try. Um, it's been sat in my fridge waiting for me to eat it and this is what I'm going to have for lunch today. Now there are a couple of gluten-free beer brands there as well. So there was Alt Brew and Wadworth and the two that I picked up. Now Alt Brew, the guys there were amazing and I was very honest with them and I said to them, look, I don't really like gluten-free beer. I want to like it but I just don't. Um, and they, they persuaded me to try some of this and actually it was really nice. Like, I think I could get used to drinking this. It was quite a light beer. Um, this one I haven't tried from Wadworth, the Six Times Gold. Apparently it's a very sort of hoppy beer. So I think this would be great if you really miss beer. And this would be great if you're not so sure about beer or you fell like a lager. Now, I think one of the highlights for many people was the fact that they were frying up gluten-free fish and chips. Now, Middleton Feeds for offering for a fiver gluten-free fish and chips and a free bag of their gluten-free fish batter. Now, I have never really had a go at making my own batter or really eating much fish and chips, but I was really impressed. Like, I'll put a picture down here of what my fish and chips look like. They were amazing, like so crispy, and I really enjoyed them as like a mid-show treat when I was flagging a bit. Another company that I was really excited to see was the California Prune Company. Now, these guys were amazing, and they were putting on some great like cookery demonstrations and talks. Now, I have never really had much experience eating or drinking prune juice, um, but they gave me this amazing recipe book and there's so many ideas in there, so I'm really intrigued to try it. And actually, like, this is a really good source of fibre, so I think it's actually going to be a really good thing for me, because um, it's so important to look after your digestive system. So I'm looking forward to trying this, I'm just not going to drink too much of it before I go on the train home. Another one of my favourite brands that I met this weekend was Be Tempted. These guys have supported my blog since the very beginning. I remember working with them like about five or six years ago and it was amazing to finally meet Sarah. She is lovely. And they gave me this amazing goodie bag, so thank you so much guys. But they make all these gorgeous little cakes. I mean, look at them. They are so gorgeous. They're just amazing. And it's actually like a miracle that I haven't opened these up already and eaten them because I really want you to put them in my video. Um, but they have so many different flavours and I can't wait to get stuck in. As soon as I finish this, these are going to get absolutely demolished. So thank you for tempted. It was amazing to meet you guys and I can't wait to eat all these cakes. So there are a few other brands that I really wanted to talk to you about. Um, I haven't got their stuff here to show, either because I've eaten it, well actually yeah, just because I've eaten it basically. One was Donorita, I think I'm pronouncing that right. They made these Brazilian cheese balls. Oh my God, they were amazing. Like, so good. Um, they're this lovely family and they had a little stand and they were really popular. I saw a lot of people talking about them. Another really nice lady I met was Jenna at Forced to be Fussy. She makes these like cake mixes, um, which look gorgeous and you can just like basically mix it up with the wet stuff, bang it in the oven and you've got these amazing cakes. Another person that I really was excited about was Freak of Nature got this awesome t-shirt even though it's a little bit it's a, it's a bit big but it's fine i'll wear it wrong now um now they i've never had them before they do these amazing puddings which i'll show you some pictures of down here um again i did actually eat those with joe last night so don't actually have any to put in my video but they were so good like 
I couldn't believe that they were gluten free, dairy free, egg free, vegan, like they were just amazing. I got to meet up with loads of amazing bloggers that I haven't like met before in person but I feel like they're my friends, I've spoken to them for so many years. So again, I will link all their details below, they're worth checking out, loads of people in the Twitter gang, loads of bloggers, like it was just amazing. I really hope you found this video helpful, there's so many brands I really recommend that you try and look them all up. They're so good, I'm going to post a link to my blog post below which will have links to all of these, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon.